Check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too if you... Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the stone? Let's get dangerous. Danger! Danger. After we all yelled danger, I got a little nervous, but this place is empty. There isn't even any treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Huh. These channels lead to the center of the room. They look like they're designed to let lava flow from those channels in the wall. Why would you want to do that? Hi, Petra. This place is cool. Knew you'd find it. So, how are you feeling lately? Wither sickness free. I think. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice, though. Any thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. So how do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. He probably starts to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to solve this. Channels of lava are blocked by sticky pistons. If I were to unblock them, hmm. Hey, Olivia. Yeah? So, what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers. But some cocoa beans would be cool, too. Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. So, have you been having a good time hunting for treasure? If you had asked me a couple of months ago, I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time. And I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Hey, Axel. What you need, buddy? Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kinda do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough or smart enough or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. Shh, you know it. So, what kind of loot you think we're going to find in here? Oh, man, well, I want to make a room with an emerald floor, right? Who doesn't? 
I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. Locked again! What's up? Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Hey, it's working! Oh, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. Huh, yeah. I had no idea what we were getting into. Hilarious. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah. That was before we fought wither storms, hung out with Enderin, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! talking about whoa that's super cool 
never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow. Is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel. Do your thing. Whoa! Well, I have definitely never seen a flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, I think you mean the warrior whip? Obviously. Warrior whip! Go! Come on, Jesse. Make it good. Just a... You guys, that was amazing! Okay, okay. Wasn't bad. I just saw that. That was amazing. Why is no one freaking out? Freak out on the inside, Axel. We gotta move. Man, this is becoming like my lucky straw. Come on, dude. Let's get you out of here. I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. I'm way ahead of you on that one, Axel. Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Ugh, what grief are you here to give us now? 
Look who's talking. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Ooh, that's too bad. I thought Ocelots was way cooler. That's what I said. Shut up, Gil. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm, no. Yeah, Lucas is a hero. Which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah. We fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Just go find your own stuff, Aiden. It's not enough that you gotta save the world. You had to go and take all the world's best stuff, too! So, if I want my own stuff, that means I need to take it. From you. I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! Ugh. You don't touch me! <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. Start something you can't finish, Aiden. I've taken on way bigger threats than you. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! Ooh, I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Okay, I'm officially starting to get a bad feeling about Aiden. Threatening people, scary enchantments on his sword. I hope he doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Well, I guess we do always try and get all the best treasure. Yeah, but that just means we have great taste. Not that we're like bullies or something. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys are back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep! New Order of the Stone is back in town!
actually hurt a little bit. Wow. That wasn't a happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles while still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. Uh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault. Look out! Oh, help! Oh, stop your whining. What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse! You're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard. So what's this weird structure? It's my new house. And also, uh, my gift to the community. If anyone's short on lava, this is the place to get more. <laughs> You're welcome! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own. With loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up. What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure that... Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <laughs> It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house, and we need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha uh, ha! Uh, haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something at that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Sounds good. I'll see you guys soon. Later, guys. Come on. Let's go find Ivor. Wow. This place is really shaping up. guys you have some pretty cool stuff in here crazy stuff <laughs> yeah no doubt it's been ages where were you oh you know just helping to rebuild and stuff weatherstorm left a big mess out there yeah a lot of homes got wrecked that's really good of you to help out like that we have so many other treasures boy you've sure been busy oh wow you framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning... I get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. 
Look, I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Oh, I hate that guy. Uh-huh, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot, I mean, the, the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to- You found it! Ah, Whoa! Dude! What is wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually- Okay, Spill. What's it do? It proves what I've always suspected. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Wow. So that temple we went to, was that built by these old builders? That's my suspicion. But it's what's inside the temple that interests me even more. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Ever Source. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. The Ever what now? The Ever Source. Are you, uh, gonna actually explain it any more than that? The Ever Source is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Okay, so this flint and steel might have this old builder enchantment. But how do you know that's where this Eversource thing is? I've traveled near and far, Jesse. And that temple, that flint and steel, is the only firm proof that I've ever seen of the old builders. That does seem like a pretty good bet. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Ugh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, he's not so bad. Why are you being so hard on him? Uh, maybe you forgot the whole Witherstorm thing? He kinda has a history of being a world-scale pain in the butt. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. Hey, let's not get all enamored with the architecture now. We've got a treasure to find. Wow. It looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, long guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. Barely got out of there last night. Doesn't look like it's opening up again anytime soon. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. Huh. Doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore.
Look excited, Ivor. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. Thrilled. Overjoyed. The Eversaurus could finally be within my grasp. Once, sir. Uh, once we find it, that is. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Not gonna lie to you, Jesse. I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. So they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! What is Jesse doing up there? Well, that looks promising. Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal, it's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. Dude, why are you being such a tool? Your little adventure is over, Jesse. Time to go home. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Time, Jesse. We can't let Aiden get the Eversource first. I don't usually like agreeing with Ivor, but he's got a point. Who knows what kind of trouble Aiden could be causing in there? Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you, thank you! Any sign of the blaze rods? No, nothing! Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal, the Eversource? He definitely seems to know now. That's it! 
That's where it must be. The others are the same. The city and the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're gonna reach it. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world, and then we can't even go anywhere. Okay, people, you know the drill. What did you guys bring with you? That's my private business. Didn't exactly bring a whole lot. Why? Because we're building a bridge, and it'll take everything we have. I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes, very astute, Lucas. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. This island is definitely big enough. Really? Yeah. If we dig up this entire island, we should have enough to get us over there. Pushing. I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang. I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off! Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry. Can't help myself. You're building! I... you... I, I... I don't... Hey, yeah! We're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh... uh you don't know? You, you... you... you were building! Uh, unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This... this makes no sense! No sense at I, all! I, 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 well, uh, that's the law? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. We had no idea. It's a stupid law. Oh, jeez. First those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I, I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, wait, wait! I'm Come just back. sorry! And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... Wow. Incredible. Whoa, what's it made of? It's kind of blinding to look at. Looks like it's all gold and iron blocks. Whoever built this had rare materials to burn. Yes. Clearly the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey! How about you take a massive chill pill, and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. I'm starting to think that maybe we should try and keep a low profile while we look for the inn. These people seem pretty suspicious of us. Agreed. Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry, everyone. Your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Huh? I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat. This is a long line just to use a crafting table. You're telling me? I'm so hungry, I could practically eat my wheat right here. But I won't. I'll be patient and turn it into delicious bread instead. What, uh, what can I do for you? 
seems pretty inefficient to have everyone sharing one crafting table. Why don't you just build your own? What? Hey, I don't know what your deal is, but I don't want any part of it. Please leave me alone now. Thank you. Hi. I told you, no building for me. Thank you. Hey there. Are you on the schedule for the furnace this afternoon? Didn't think there were any more appointments today. Hang on. Let me see here. Dale, ten stone blocks. Oh, yes, that went very well. Melissa, three cooked pork chops. She rescheduled. Classic Mel. Uh, no appointment for me. Thanks. I'm actually looking for the inn. Milo's place, right? It's back there. Right. Milo. Thanks. No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it, you can stop writing now. Intense. Hey, Petra. What you looking at? Just admiring the sights, actually. This place is so cool. I'm not usually one for, like, checking out people's builds or whatever, but... I have to admit, this is really impressive. The founder isn't accepting visitors right now. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The Founder finally approved my petition. The Founder? That's her palace up there. She is the Keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She builds everything? Yeah, well, it sure is amazing. <laughs> That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. Your petition was very well handled. Oh, gosh. That's nice of you. Man, that sounds like a tough way to live life. I suppose. It's the way it's always been, though. Hey, again. Yes? So, I'm curious. What kind of stuff do you guys do for fun around here? Oh, uh, all sorts of things. Make wish lists of resources. Practice low inventory builds. Some people do poetry. <laughs> it's a pretty great place to live. Fancy duds you're wearing, Reginald. Is that a uniform? I try not to brag about it, but I'm actually the captain of the guard. One of the reasons I'm allowed to supervise a build like this one. Reginald, huh? Can I call you Reggie? No, I'd really rather you didn't. It's, uh, Reginald. Don't let me interrupt you guys. Good luck. Much obliged. Hi. Uh, hello. Do you need help with that? What? No! I mean, this was authorized as a solo build. No unauthorized build partners. Hi there. I really can't talk anymore. I only have one chance at this, and I really, really don't want to screw it up. How's it going, Lucas? I'm okay. Just watching these guards. They really mean business. Yeah. I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. Can't believe they just built their way right into town. I, no, I've never seen anything uh, like it. Hello. Oh, uh, oh my. Hello again. Can we, uh, do anything for you? Can you two point me in the direction of the inn? They must be looking for Milo. Shh! Uh, I mean, no, 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 we don't know any Milo. Really? Because it sure sounds like you know him. Uh, okay, okay. We know of him. 
If you really want to find him... He's the kind of messy-looking guy. Spender's always falling down. So messy. Thanks, I guess. Were you two talking about me just now? Um, no, no, uh, of course not. Mm-hmm. Please don't hurt us. You guys seem like you might have the scoop. What's up with the, uh, Eversource? Well, um, mm, it, well, it's, it's in the palace. I'll just leave you guys alone, then. Have a nice day. Please stop building, it scares me. What? Nothing. Oh, we could have almost died just then. Oh, hush. Sorry, stranger. Can't come up here. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here, <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. I heard from someone in town that you could help me. Other people were talking about me? <laughs> they must have me mistaken with some other handsome innkeeper. <laughs> <clears throat> Out of curiosity, what is it that uh, they thought I could help you with? I'm sorry, but I'm actually quite busy. Inns don't keep themselves, you know. Lots of busy work. I heard you talk to the Blaze Rods earlier. What did they want? Hmm. Hmm. Blaze Rods. Hmm. I... I don't know any Blaze Rods. You must have been misled. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, is this our guy? He tell you where to find the Blaze Rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet. Is he hiding them somewhere? Look, I know you talked to them, Milo. Just spill it. Fine, if it will make you leave me alone. That Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So, where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting, attendance is mandatory. Oh, you slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Guys, I think I found the blaze rods. Oh no. What are they doing? People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. Crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Builders. I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws. But I will warn you, Sky City is small. And I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. To get to that resource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. By getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. 
Here I am. I built the bridge. Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey, unhand me. Come with me. This is completely unnecessary. Jesse, we need to get out of here. Sorry, Ivan. I'm going to win. Me too. Quick, follow me. Wait, wait. I'm coming hey, peacefully. That's them. They're getting away. After them. Jesse, run. Right up. Run. <laughs> Just in here, yes. There's nowhere to hide in here. It's a dead end. Before I take you to any further, you must take an oath. I think they went this way. You must swear to never reveal what I'm about to show you. What? Do you swear that? You can't let him get away! Milo, I solemnly swear that I will never tell your secret to anyone else. Fantastic. Philippe? Right this way. This is Build Club. Whoa. Everything you see before you was built from resources that my people have saved or uh, obtained. Man, it can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. Wow, this is quite the secret hideout, Milo. Very nice. <clears throat> it is not a hideout. It is a Build Club. You see, one day, a long time ago, I was just a citizen of Sky City, like any other. I wanted to make a community garden, so I put in a petition for a dirt block, and mercy me, it was granted. But in my excitement and haste to build my garden, I accidentally dropped my new block, and it fell right over the edge. For my crime, I was tossed into the Founder's Dungeons. And I was in there. For a very, very long time. Well, okay, but it was an accident. They can't lock you up for that, can they? Oh, but they can. It was deemed an egregious wasting of resources. You see, in our world, when something falls over the edge, it is gone forever. But I have always believed in my heart that just because building is risky, it doesn't mean that no one should do it. If only I had known you were builders sooner, I would have helped you all escape when I first met you, rather than let your friends be taken. But at least you are here, yes? I would like to save Lucas. And Ivor, I guess. You said something before about having a plan. A different way into the palace to save our friends. Yes, I did say that. Hey, Milo! Ah, hello, my friends. Bringing in outsiders? Seriously? Pretty hard to keep this a secret club if you just bring people in. Yeah, we have it hard enough as it is. Everyone, please. Yeah, it's hard enough without you bringing in a couple of randos. Guys, don't worry. We're builders, just like you. Yeah, Jesse's right. Just chill out. We're the ones that built that bridge into town today. What? Dude! Milo, jeez! Milo, are you kidding me? The most wanted criminals in the whole city? We gotta turn them in before the guards break our door down. Well, no, let's not do that. I assure you, harboring them is worth the risk. They are the epitome of Build Club material. Builders, I'm not sure. Say they're builders. Oh, perhaps a challenge? All right, then. If Milo says you're these amazing builders, prove it. Yeah, build something. Now, see here, this is all highly disrespectful to my guests. I'm the leader here. I think I know my way around a crafting table better than any of you chumps. Oh, cocky. Let's see if you can back that up. We don't know many recipes, so if you just show us something that they build where you come from... You're gonna be just fine, Jesse. Jesse, it took us many weeks to scrape together this inventory. Please, use them for your build. Okay. Thanks. Now, what do you think 
the outsider. Let's see here. Anyone got something to take notes with? No. Darn. I guess I'll just have to try to remember all this then. Eh? <laughs> Getting nervous yet, my love? <laughs> what? No, of course not. <gasps> Wait, Jesse! <laughs> Jesse, what is that thing? Is it... is... is it safe? Fear not, everyone! The golem is under my control and obeys my every whim. I am so sorry we ever doubted you. Your building is truly magnificent. We all bow to you. I can understand why the guards are after you. I mean, that was awesome. Right? I told you. Yeah, we're really sorry. Wowzers. So sorry. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. Hey, these things happen. Apologies totally accepted, dudes. Now, uh, how about that whole getting us into the palace thing? Yeah, that would be great. Ah, yes, of course, of course. That is, after all, why you are here. I must say, though, after seeing you in action, your skills are even more impressive than I could have imagined. So impressive that I wonder if I could implore you for a tiny favor. What kind of favor? I help you get into the palace you help me steal the Eversource for my people. Unlimited resources for everyone! I'm overwhelmed at the thought. Okay, but my friends are in trouble in there. So if we're breaking into the palace, we're going to save them. This is an acceptable and noble arrangement. Good. Now, as for how to get into the palace, According to my informants, the Founder keeps the Eversource behind a secret door located in her throne room. Dramatic. Every night, the Founder leaves guards at every door, but there's a single window at the back of the palace that is left unguarded. It's an almost perfect point of entry, but it is far too high. <laughs> if we can find a way through that window, the Eversource would be practically within our grasp. Guys! How high it is doesn't matter. What? You just have to start thinking like real builders and craft a solution. Yeah, like a ladder. Building ladder? Craft a way in? If you could show us how to craft something that would reach the window, we could get this heist underway. Okay, my friends, this should take us right into the throne room. Once inside, we will just need to find the secret entrance that the Founder supposedly uses. Isn't it exciting? On our way to changing everything! Hey, would you keep it down, Milo? We're sneaking in, remember? Sneaking? Right, right, right. My apologies. I'm just so excited. Actually, out in the field, applying ladders to a wall. I know. I know. Why are you saying things to me that I already... Whoa! Oh! Jesse! Jesse! Petra! Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Right back at ya. What are the odds? Am I right? I'm so glad you two are okay. What happened to you? We were in the dungeon, but we broke out. It's a good thing you guys are here. Aiden's going after the Eversource. Which we obviously can't abide. We're here to get it first! Fantastic! That is what we are doing as well! Who, uh, who's this guy, by the way? 
I mean, I assume he's cool, right? Lucas, Ivor, this is Milo. He's the leader of an underground rebellion. Wow. That's pretty cool. A pleasure. Yeah. Hi. Sure. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. If it's in here, we'll find it. I'm getting a very door vibe from this. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap. How's it looking? Still looking like it needs power. Don't worry. I'll find the answer. Okay. I believe in you. Yes, I'm very grateful to you for all of your help. Give yourself some credit, Milo. You've done Build Club proud. Huh. I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Wow. That is pretty special. Hmm. <gasps> A cobblestone generator! Amazing! Lava and water, placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! So, how was prison life? Oh, it was wonderful. I've always wanted time behind bars to work on my poetry. That was sarcasm! In case you were curious. Definitely regal. Not bad. Jesse, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. Genius. just inventory registries and legal information. Boring. Wow. It's so big. And 
nothingness, I mean. Ever? This would be the perfect spot for it. What would Olivia say right now? Probably something like, Jesse, it looks like it doesn't have any power. Must be where the founder crafts things for the people. Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Okay. Let's do this. friend the lever fantastic ah! didn't know you were watching my apologies it is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Hmm. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? 
is... Is that a monster? That's not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. The Founder must have to kill literally thousands of monsters to get the resources to make anything. That doesn't seem very efficient. But she doesn't have any other option. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah! I can't wait! <sighs> Let's take a look around. Wow. Well, this is pretty weird. What? The Eversource. It's just a chicken. So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. We'll throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people. With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! But that clucking thing is what we came for! Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure! I knew it! I knew you were here to steal from me! She's too fast. Just give me a second to catch my breath. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, let's just talk about this, okay? I'm not sure there's anything to talk about. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! Shut up, criminals. No, 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 no. You don't get to spin it like this, Aiden. You're the bad guy. You just expect me to believe a bunch of criminals? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves. And here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. I've got Aiden. Save the fowl. Oh, you got me, Lucas. Take it from here. This is all your fault. Thanks to you, we get to see what really happened. When you fall off the islands. Hey, you can't pin this on me. This is your fault. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Trusting the blaze rods, hiding the Eversource. I didn't do any of that. Hmm, I can't decide whether I want our death to be painless for my sake or excruciating for yours. Land! 
impossible. That's impossible. Jesse? There. Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close. Jesse? Holy crap, you're down here too? Lucas! You made it! Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Mm. Yeah, I mean, pretty good. I'm just so glad you're okay. When Aiden pitched you over the side, that was awful. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan either. <laughs> that was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom... Is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Let me ask. Founder! Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. Are you, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I, I can't believe it. <sighs> mm. This has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. Well, land is gonna be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's going to change everything. Yes. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What, what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> Seeing all this after you've been crammed on a tiny island, that would be overwhelming for anybody. Miss Founder, ma'am, this is pretty big. So just take a minute. Enjoy the sights. Breathe it in. Yeah. Getting back up to Sky City might be a little exhausting. Getting back up? <sighs> My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. to start this mess. Of course, I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Isa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let me see what we've got to work with. Hmm. That'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? Get ready to build the tallest thing you've ever built. What? We're going to build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Okay, that should do it. Jesse, what is that? half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh, I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Aiden got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. Look, I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. 
Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up. Try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. Ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. is under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Aiden, come on. We need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo! Taking over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here!
Fortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. Just die already! Should have left while you had the chance! can't stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about what's right. And that is why you're gonna lose! about this, right? Here! Here! You want your flint and steel back, huh? Take it! It's yours! Just, please, don't hurt me! You did it! Jesse, we need to get out of here! What do you want to do with him? Please! This place is getting worse by the minute! You can't just leave me here! Take me with you! After everything you've done, I'm not sure you deserve that kind of mercy. No, 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 come on! You can't just leave me behind. If you leave me here, I'll die! Get moving. You're coming with us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> More than you deserve, frankly.
Jesse has done nothing but help us so far. I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long. Now you can do whatever you want. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, freeze, criminals. You're not going anywhere. I knew you'd stop him. Nice work. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. Knew they wouldn't get away. Yeah, I feel a little bad. They just got in over their heads. Way over. Aiden. Oh, uh, hi, Jesse. I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to cause all that trouble. I can see where it all went wrong. I've, uh, got some regrets, to say the least. I hope you learned a lesson, Aiden. This didn't have to happen like this. I'd say you have a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Try and make a fresh start, okay, Aiden? Do something good for these guys. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Make myself a little house. Maybe I'll become a writer. I won't try to compete with you anymore. Attention! Huh? Attention! Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free! Build whatever we please! Wow! Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Hey, both of you! Fighting isn't going to solve anything. It will if I win! Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan. But you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things. But you gotta be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. 
Yeah. I guess we should prepare for nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. It's been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Oh, that's right. In the middle of all the fighting and everything, I almost forgot. When I was on the ground with the founder before, I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Because I could have sworn I said something. No, you didn't. Huh. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. So sorry about her. That's okay. It looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. Yes, that's a rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversource. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? I was just thinking that I'm glad the Founder and Benedict have each other. Yeah, that is nice. Yes, yes. Very heartwarming. See, just like I told you, one portal back home. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No, a little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Wait till Axel and Olivia hear where we've been. They'll never believe... It. 